Jean-Jacques Rousseau, one of the founders of the theory of public alliance, considers the protection of the citizens' immunity, freedom, and property as the main problem of state and state power. The famous French philosopher considered these values as the main reason for the creation of the state by the human society, and the supreme interest of which it should be directed to the functioning of the state. Public interest is the maintenance of the constitution norms and the implementation of the constitution. As the constitution is a collection of fundamental human rights and fundamental values of the society, as well as the cor cornerstone guarantee of welfare and security of society members. Therefore, today the main criterion of political legitimacy of the state power must be to fulfill its commitment to maintain the provisions of the constitution and not to leave the scope of the powers determined by the constitution. Breach of the Constitution's requirements by the state should be viewed as an offense, which is the starting point for weakening or eliminating the political legitimacy of the political and state power of the day. As an example of such violation, he brings the falsification of elections by the political power of the state power. The obvious unfair economic policy, the external political decisions that endanger the state's sovereignty. But even under such circumstances, the people's right to revolt will be considered legitimate if it is last possible means of preserving or restoring the constitutional order by the people. As a matter of empirical observations, a peaceful protest does not need definition. It can be recognized when you see it, and as such it may take different forms. It is thus neither surprising nor inappropriate that it is not protected by a single formulated right under the regime of international human rights law. Instead, as a matter of human rights law, the human right of peaceful protest is a construct and combination of different rights. Article 2. In the Republic of Armenia, the power belongs to the people. Article 42. Freedom of expression of opinion. Article 44. Freedom of peaceful assembly. Civil disobedience can be done in several ways. The methods of implementation are coordinated in director of the Einstein Institute's G. Sharp's works. Sharp notes that the widespread mistakes of a former political disobedience campaigns was based on just one or two methods, example, strikes and mass demonstrations. Sharp has collected and described 189 methods of non-violent resistance, and Nikol Pashinin has implemented the majority of that. Մեկ ակրոպոլիսն է, որտեղ աստվածների տաճարներն են և որտեղ հարաբերությունները հիրարխիկ են։ 
եւ ագորան որտեղ բոլորը հավասար են իրար եւ այդ հավասարությունը կապված է ընդհանուր մեկ հանգամանքից որ նրա կաթեքի քաղաքացիներ են եւ ագորան հավաքվում է աթենական էկլեսիան աթենական աշխարհաժողովը որտեղ յուրաքանչյուր քաղաքացի մասնակցում է բոլոր օրենքների ընդունմանը սկսած պատերազմի եւ խաղաղության որոշումներից բյուջեի ընդունումից ընտրությունների արդյունքների հաստատումից երի տասարդների դաստիարակությունից պետական պաշտոնյաների հաշվետվությունից եւ յուրաքանչյուր աթենական քաղաքացի իրավունք ունի իր դիրքորոշումը արտահայտել ցանկացած օրենքի շուրջ եւ քվիարկել այդ օրենքի օգսեր այս հրապարակը հեղափոխական հարաբեդության հրապարակը հրճակվում է որպես ժողովրդական իշխանության բարձրագույն մարմին հաթենքում ընտրվում էր էկլեսիայում ընտրվում էր քաղաքացիների բազմության կողմից եւ յուրաքանչյուր պաշտոնյա մեկ տարի պաշտոնաբայլուց հետո մարակրկիտ հաշվետվություն էր ներկայացնում ագորային իր գործունեության վերաբերյալ եւ ագորան որոշում էր արդուկ այդ գործունեությունը արդարացված է հիմնավորված է թեքոն չարաշահումներ Uh, during the April May uh, of the 2018 uh, the protests rallies and demonstrations were conducted in the streets of Yerevan and not only in the capital but also in the regions of the country during uh, this days the uh, office of the human rights defender was working in the uh, highly overloaded practice Uh, so these people were monitoring the uh, were conducting the visits to the police departments where people from protests from participating in the protest demonstrations were uh, apprehended and brought to, uh, to these departments Uh, so uh, first of all we tried to check whether the rights of these people were uh, were uh, ensured right uh, the, the, the the implementation of their rights were uh, was ensured uh, first of all the person must be uh, informed about his rights and obligations as an apprehended one so except this uh, he must be informed about the reasons why he is uh, taking is going to be taken to the post department so all these activities were uh, checked thoroughly and during the inter individual interviews other uh, measures were also taken including those related to the physical uh, interventions by police officers except that uh, the uh, also the the conditions of people were who were taken to the uh, places where people are uh, the apprehended persons under the police supervision uh, the the detention conditions were also checked so uh, the main uh, the main problems stated during this uh, monitoring activities was uh, relates to the uh, in to the uh, to the awareness or to the uh, information provided by the police department to the persons uh, to the persons apprehended with regard to their rights many people were deprived of, were taken to the police department by uh, cars with no identifying numbers or police uh, officers were not identifying themselves except this uh, people were keeping more than 3 hours as it is pres prescribed by law in the police uh, department and after war, after which they were included to the uh, initially uh, initiated criminal cases can we consider the revolution as successful you should answer to the question by yourself to find the answer you should look at the future and compare what was promised and what was actually done